Hi, I'm David Dusseldorp, and I'm going to demonstrate the Remote Share Snapshots feature present on SUSE Linux Enterprise 12. So in this case, we'll be using a Windows client to connect to a Samba server and request the creation of a, a snapshot there. So here we see our Samba share uh, connected from the Windows client. Uh, so this share is configured with Snapper at the back end to manage snapshots. So what we'll do is populate this share with some test data before we take that snapshot. And on the server side, so just looking locally on the server here, we have the new file present. Uh, we have a snapper configuration for that corresponding share path. And uh, we currently don't have any snapshots created for this share. So now what we'll do is use the disk shadow executable on Windows Server 2012 and connect to our Samba server again. And this time what we'll do is request the creation of a snapshot for this uh, specific share. And what this does is just sees the Windows Server 2012 client connect to our Samba server and request the creation of a snapshot for the share. And that snapshot is then exposed by the server as well as, as a new share. So there we can see the, uh, the name of the new share, which exposes the, the snapshot. So that's referred to as a, a shadow copy on Windows. And we'll just modify the, the file on the base share just so that we can differentiate there between the base and the snapshot. So here we see uh, at the bottom of the listing there the new share which is associated with the snapshot. So if we look at the contents of the snapshot there, the, the file data corresponds to what we wrote prior to the snapshot. And then of course we can also uh, just have a look on the server side and we can also see that uh, we have the new snapshot which was created by Samba at the back end. Uh, that was created by the Active Directory Administrator and requesting end backup here, uh, that just sees the uh, Windows client connect to Samba again and request that that snapshot is uh, deleted. So we can see that the snapshot share is no longer present there. And then on Snapper, that's also uh, removed. Thanks for watching.